Hey guys, this is Aliana, and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, actually, <laughs> let's address the elephant in the room, this thing over my head. So I feel like every other creator's production quality keeps getting be better as they keep creating videos, except for me. Like, the more I create, the shittier the production. <laughs> but I just, I really can't be bothered. Um, I don't... I'm not interested. It's not an issue of time. It's not an issue of energy. I just really enjoy creating videos that are very low effort and fun. And yeah, this is this is this is what's most joyful to me. So I hope you find value in it, no matter what uh, format it comes in. Even though it's a fucking Google Meet. All right. So with myself, by the way. So anyway, so the topic I want to talk to you about today is. Uh, I don't know, I haven't thought of a title, but essentially it's this thing that people talk, keep talking about become that person or how do you transcend yourself and become somebody else? Not entirely somebody else, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, let's say you have a goal that you want to achieve and uh, you want to build a brand of full self-expression. Hopefully that's the goal that you have. And you know that in order for you to do that, you have to create content every day or as often as you can. And it has to be of a certain quality and you want to connect with people and you want to create stuff and you want to create offers you want to test things and you're like okay i know i have to be disciplined and patient and creative how do i become that person and people will tell you will just do things like affirmations and you know act like it and there, there's just a lot of stuff out there and i'm not saying that that stuff is not correct but i want to share with you guys a practical tip that worked for me my whole life i discovered this as a kid or you know as a preteen or teen, I guess. And it worked really well for me and I kept using it. And yes, it does involve these things, but more than that, it's a practice. And now I use it with Brands Are Alive. So, you know, if you were to try to get into or transcend certain qualities, develop other qualities, it would be so part of the practice would be the, the tip I'm going to share with you today. And that is, imagine how that person would be throughout the day and start making decisions from that place all day, every day. Let me explain what I mean. Most people think, okay, I want to be disciplined. So I'm going to develop the discipline to show up every day at 9 a.m. to create. Or I want to be creative, so I'm going to practice being creative when I'm creating the content. But the thing is, these things can't be turned on and off. It's not like a switch, right? Like. I'm going to put my butt on this chair to create and suddenly I'm going to become creative and disciplined and patient and joyful and da 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 da. It's not going to happen or I'm going to enter a state of flow. Uh, that's not how it works. You have to practice being that person throughout the day. A lot of people now, uh, what is trending for them is this idea of just do it, right? Just, you know, don't meditate, don't, don't waste your time. Uh, priming yourself or setting yourself up because at the end of the day, if you're not doing the work, then you're not doing the work. Like that's a distraction. Again, as always, it's not true, true or false. It's both. Yes, it's true. The thing that really moves the needle for you is to do the work, but you have to practice being that person throughout the day outside of the time that you have to be it. Like, you know, it's not going to show up for you if you're not practicing it throughout the day. So I'll give you an example when it comes to creativity. It's not something you become when you go and create content. Instead, what you want to do is ask yourself, how does a creative person think throughout the day? When they open their eyes, what's the first thing that they do? When they step out, uh, what, how do they observe life? How do they absorb it? A creative person will probably be more attuned to their emotions more in tune with nature, more aware of their surroundings. They think things through. They are very much in touch with their feelings. When they go outside, they notice the colors. They, they notice temperature. They notice textures. So they're very much in touch with, with their senses. Um, they're more spontaneous. Uh, they are okay with, you know, drawing lines out, outside the borders. They're okay with making mistakes. They're okay with a little bit of messiness. They're okay with a lot of messiness. You don't have to be very messy. You don't have to take things to the extreme. Please don't be like, how does a creative person behave? Oh, they should be 
drunk all the time and heartbroken and you know <laughs> like so i'm gonna start drinking and i'm gonna start picking fights so i can be miserable because that's what's going to and you know make me creative no we're not asking you to uh embody a certain stereotype or guess what i'm asking you to do is to imagine your version of creative if you were embodying the thing how would you be that throughout the day every day you have to practice it enough like over and over and over and over until you build a track record with yourself so that when you look back you go oh i am creative i am disciplined i am patient and you're not just saying it as an affirmation to make yourself believe it nor are you acting as if because there's some crazy law that's going to make it happen but it makes sense if you act as the person who is x you end up becoming the person who is x and you become and uh you end up getting the results of that person if you act like that person in the future you're gonna get the results of that person that's there's nothing magical about all of this but you have to build that track record with yourself how long do you do it there's no hard and fast rule um the more emotionally embedded it is within you that you are a certain type of way the more attached you are to a binary side of things the more you may have to do work to to let go of the notion of who you think you are and let go of that you know false identity and know that you are both and neither at the same time you are everything and you have to choose which side you know you want to swing on more for like a better words for the moment right now to get the job done so it's not that you are organized or messy it's not that you are strict or loose it's not that you are this or that it's that who do you need to become next in order to achieve the next thing that's really that's really how it works um one thing i'll tell you guys i you know hence oh my god i'm forgetting my words and i'm not going to edit this because i can't bother i can't uh I can't tell you how many times I fell into this trap. And also I have noticed people um, struggle with this where they get so attached to a character trait that is not necessarily even um, positive or helpful, but they have built so much of that track record I was talking about in, in a certain, on a certain extreme and they become so attached to it and then they fight this person fights against it right to go to the other end of things and they end up becoming the other extreme which is just as damaging and uh, just as problematic so to give you an example when i was younger when i was in my early 20s i was very messy you guys like now i i am um anal honestly about cleanliness and about organization but i remember when i was more than 15 years ago i, I just remember uh my room i basically had a pile of clothes on my bed and then at night i would just dump that on the floor sleep on the bed and then <laughs> put the stuff back on the mattress the next day and i used to smoke okay so i used to be i used to be a smoker see the identity piece but i used to smoke a lot and i i had like this ashtray that was always overfilled with cigarette butts and it's just like now that i think about it i'm like i don't recognize that person because um now i can't put up with i cannot tolerate uh, a mess uh, we just got cats back in march and i've been slowly trying to tolerate just having some toys around but i i like everything to be clean and organized and it's not that i wasn't clean at the time but i was really messy i was just messy and maybe not clean in some ways and the fact that i had an ashtray that was full of cigarette butts but whatever so i if you had asked me i would have told you that's just how i am at the time but you know i've like swung into the all complete opposite direction but i took it to the extreme where i became so organized that i became anal and then that that became kind of a, a jail essentially and i just couldn't do certain things because it wasn't organized. Like I wouldn't send an email if the fucking, you know, there was one word that was slightly smaller or bigger than the other or something just wasn't right. And I was just very like anal retentive about details that didn't matter and didn't move the needle. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's just me taking it to the extreme. So it's really a constant balancing act, but yeah, basically you, 
you can change how you feel by changing your thoughts, but you can change your reality when you change the action as a practice. You, the bottom line of this video is don't expect to be a certain type of way when you feel like it. You have to act as that person throughout the day and build a track record with yourself long enough until you adopt and embody that and then it becomes so much easier and it takes a lot less energy for you to act as that person because that's it you have created a new perception but you have to act like it in every single way you have to throughout the day remind yourself how would that person behave what would a disciplined person do in this scenario that has nothing to do with your work what would a creative person do in this scenario that has nothing to do with creative work what would a patient person do in a scenario where you don't need to be patient and identify what are those characteristics that you have to become and keep practicing them until you become them. And always keep balancing, always be aware that everything that you call a flaw is really just something taken to the extreme. That's it, that was the video for today. If you found this helpful, make sure to, if you're not seeing this through Mojo, make sure to subscribe to brandsarelive.com forward slash Mojo. I create a video like this uh, usually once a week, um, sometimes more, sometimes less. And yeah, any questions, comments, leave them wherever you're seeing this and I'll see you soon. Bye.